Hello everyone, Boba Cup Noodle here and welcome to another Skyrim videos. Today's video will be finishing the spell showcase for the mod called Triumvirate. This video will focus on Shaman and Cleric. If you haven't already, consider checking my previous video where I cover Warlock, Shadow Mage and Jude. Anyway, let's get started. Shaman uses three schools of magic, Restoration, Alteration and Conjuration. Let us begin with Conjurations. Shaman's Conjuration consists of two different types. One type summons static totems each with different effects. Create Water Totem heals players' health and magic card as well as curing disease. Create Tree Totems deal poison damage to nearby enemy over time when in combat. Create Earth Totem sends out a shockwave every 7 seconds. Also, although these totems don't move, they still have health point and can tank some damage for the players. The other type lets you control a file jar temporarily while leaving your main body behind. Summon Wing File Jar will let you control a blue creature for some time. Depends on pressing left click or right click, you can cast Winter's Howl and Crystallize. <laughs> Lastly, Shaman's Master Conjuration spell is Summon Sun File Jar. This time you control a golden creature with the power of Sun Flare and Grand Healing, which can again be triggered by left or right click. To cancel the spell, simply press the shelf button. Shaman's Conjuration spell can be obtained from the following merchants. Now for the Shaman's Alteration spells. Up first, Eye of the Old Maker is a novice spell allowing you to survey an area. There are also Staffs of Ferocity and Staff of Minding. Both buff your power attack. One will reduce enemy armor and magic resist, while the other, immobilized enemy with chains, also has a chance of disarm. Fissure is an adapt skill that raises huge rock from the ground, knocking down enemies. Master Alteration spell is called Sacred Hearth. When first casting, a menu will pop up letting you create a hearth. After a hearth is set up, second time you cast the spell, the menu now has the option of returning to the hearth temporarily. Shaman's Alteration spells can be purchased from the following vendors. Finally, onto Shaman's Restoration. Vision of Opportunity lets you reduce armor and magic resist of the opponents. On the other hand, Vision of Healing lets you drain health from the enemy. Next, Spirit Fire lets you drain magic card and stamina from the target. If both are depleted, it will start draining health. Spirit Storm is an expert spell that sends huge swarm of spirit, which has the same effect of draining magic card and stamina than draining health if previous two are depleted. At last, Shield of Owl is a master spell that places a giant loon on the ground, severely weakening enemy's armor and magic resist. Shaman's Restoration spells can be found from the following vendors. Following up, we have Cleric, which utilizes Restoration, Destruction, and Illusion. Of course, being a Cleric, you gotta have Restoration spells. Aid is a simple Novice Concentration spell letting you buff allies' skill levels. There are also Aura of Might, which buff damage of the allies, releasing the spell deal a small burst damage. Aura of Vigor heals ally with its release, giving invulnerability. And Aura of Thrones, which allow allies to reflect damage, upon release heals ally for 100 points. Mass Immortality is a master spell which, like the name says, gives nearby allies unlimited health for a short duration. These cleric restoration spells can be purchased from the following vendors. Now onto Destruction for Cleric. Holy Fire and Holy Shock are two spells buffing your power attack. One lets you deal bonus fire and sun damage, the other lets you deal bonus shock and sun damage. Solar Ray is a novice spell shooting a small ray of light dealing damage per second. For spells that cover the whole area, we have Consecrated Ground and Storm of Vengeance. Consecrated Ground surround the area with a foggy effect dealing sun and fire damage. Storm of Vengeance is a master spell that covers the area with an even crazier fire visual effects, dealing decent amount of damage. The Cleric Destruction spell can be obtained from the following vendors. Lastly, Cleric's Illusion spells. First, suggestions allow you to command people or creature up to level 10 for a short amount of time. Obedient is an even stronger version that lets you command people or creature up to level 24 and make them fight for you. Spirit Guardians call up on the spirit of your race, male or female, which acts like a follower, can carry or use equipment you give. Next, we have Exile, 
which makes a target up to level 15 disappear from the world for a couple of seconds. Finally, we have a master spell called Exodus, an even more powerful variant of Exile, making all nearby people except your follower disappear for an amount of time. These cleric illusion spells can be purchased from the following merchant. And those are the two classes for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, consider click the like button and subscribe or follow me on twitch.tv slash bobacupnoodle. As always, feel free to ask any questions down in the comment sections and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!